Good day, everyone. Jim Lair joining you from Grand Pacifica, Nicaragua. It was an absolute beautiful day here today. Nice breeze. Gorgeous day. Had a beautiful morning on the beach. Uh, I've got a couple friends here from Alaska. Um, so it's kind of screwing my time up. I'm, I'm planning to get more consistent with these. I, I, I figured out that it's really hard to get a consistent time. So I'll be on sometime probably before noon Eastern, somewhere around, around there with, with the fact that I'm two hours behind now, it kind of messes everything up, but I'm just going to do these whenever I can. So good times. Had a gr I've had a great weekend. Had some friends in from out of town. Tried a, a lot of new things, uh, a lot of new activities. And we're going to talk about that with how to improve compliance. We're not talking about compliance to the man or compliance to the the narrative. We're talking about your own compliance for your own health and wellness uh, strategy, so to speak. Um, Dr. Stillman and I are doing uh, our weekly lesson this week is on breathing mechanics. The exact title is, and we're going to get in depth. And this is a very um, misunderstood air quality and breathing mechanics. We're going to get into that. And this is kind of really misunderstood. I'm going to really simplify things for you and give you some really easy and simple things that you can implement every day. And we're going to get into shape and structure and how that affects your ability to breathe. And a lot of people make it really, really complex and it doesn't have to be. So we're going to simplify that. That's on Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern. We're having some issues with time zones, with settings. And so it's at 10 a.m. Eastern, but uh, the emails that are sent out through StreamYard say 11. But even if you miss it, uh, you still get to watch the replay. But you want to be on there for that if you can't watch it live or, or if you get the times get messed up. Uh, so get on the email list. Go over to Stillman Wellness. Join the email list. You'll get an email Wednesday night, uh, basically allowing you to sign up for that. Dr. Stillman and I are also doing a holistic approach to burnout webinar at the end of the month. Uh, on the 30th, I believe. Is that the 30th is the end of the month? That's coming up this Saturday, I think. I think so. Yeah, it's on my YouTube channel. You can find it. Let me look. Uh, how to beat burnout, holistic strategies for sustainable energy. And it looks like that is at March 30th. Yes. So we'll be doing that live on YouTube. Uh, so you can... Uh, Go over to my YouTube channel, Dr. Stillman's YouTube channel. It'll be right there on the front page and just add hit reminder and we'll be doing that. So excited about that. We've got a lot of cool things coming on. We're about to do a fundamentals wellness sale for my birthday. My birthday's coming up. Yeah. 10 a.m. Eastern for uh, or uh, actually 10 a.m. It'll be 10 a.m. Central. It will be 11 a.m. Eastern for that. How to be burnout. So hopefully you'll join us for both of those. We're going to be opening up the fundamentals of wellness with coaching again and letting a few people in. We only we only want a few people at a time so we can really do a good job with people. We're really concerned about that. So how to improve compliance? You know, you'll hear people talk about you need to do hard things. And yes, that's true. You need to challenge yourself. But the real basic things, you know, like getting outside several times a day, like you can kill two or three birds with one stone. Like yesterday, I played Frisbee golf. I've never really done that before, but I'm going to start incorporating that into my life because it gives me walking. It gives me a fun activity. It gets me outside, which I'm already outside all the time, but it's a fun, enjoyable way to improve compliance, right? So if you make your diet so miserable, you can't comply to it. If you make your training so miserable that you're having to like, you know, have people yell at you to go to the gym. I've always believed that your training should be enjoyable. It should be challenging but to the point where you actually look forward to going and doing it. Now, if you're getting ready to go to war, that's a totally different animal, but most people are not getting ready to go to war. Um, so the more things you can do, like for me, I look at sleep, like going to bed early as something that's like really positive and something I really enjoy doing. Um, because I know that the next day I'm going to get up, I'm going to feel good. I'm going to have lots of energy. So all these things that I incorporated in my life and I look at food as like, being good to myself. I know, I know in, in, in our society, it's interesting. We, we teach kids like, Hey, you worked really hard or you win a prize. So you get to eat some junk food. And I'm not saying you shouldn't have junk food from time to time. I certainly have, um, junk food, even though the junk food here is not as really as terrible as the, the crap food in the U S but, um, 
you got to change your mindset when it comes to food that I'm going to give my body fuel that's nourishing. I Like if you have a really nice car, you don't put like gasoline with water in it, right? You put the highest quality gas in that, in that high performance car as you possibly can. And it should be the same thing about food. You should be looking to put the best water in your body, the best food possible. You don't want to get neurotic about it. But I really love the Frisbee golf because it's fun. I get to go out and joke around. I get the social element of it. I get outside. I walked, you know, like a couple miles doing it. Um, I've got a Frisbee golf course literally within five minutes of my house here. So I'm going to start doing that on a regular basis to, to break up the monotony of just going for a 10-minute walk, uh, which I like doing 10-minute walks. But sometimes, you know, it's like, oh, 10-minute walk again. You know, even though it's really enjoyable, um, it's fun to go out. And we got a little... <laughs> We got a little mini golf course here uh, that costs like a dollar to play. So I'm going to start doing more fun stuff like that with other people just to get some more social interaction. I actually ordered a disc golf set. Uh, it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. And so finding things like I know the clients that I had, whether it was tennis, it doesn't have to be competitive. It can just be go and hit a ball across the net, pick a ball, just hit a ball across the net with a friend, just not even crazy hard just to do something different and to move in different ways. You know, a lot of people, I think a lot of older folks, you know, walking the golf course keeps them alive and functioning, you know? So find activities that you really enjoy doing, the check off boxes, like getting outside, getting your sunshine, uh, getting fresh air, having social connections. So if you can have activities in your life that improve, the gym provided a lot of that for, you know, a lot of my clients for many years that come to the gym have great social connection, you know, feel like they're part of a community. So, the more things you can get in your life that um, are easy for you to do, it's going to make it much easier for you to have a healthy overall lifestyle. Uh, and then choosing to do hard things occasionally is is important. Challenging yourself, um, but you have to have that base foundation to do that. You know, if your car is in bad shape and it, you know, the wheel the wheels are not in alignment and the engine is like a motor mount's broken off and it's and it's like not running well, you don't drive it faster to fix it. You fix it and then you, then you drive it faster. And then you got to continually do the maintenance on the car to keep it at high performing level. And most people just don't, don't do the maintenance on their car. And most people succumb to the chronic constant stress of life. Right. And most people don't understand how much that chronic constant stress affects their body and their ability to recover and to rest and digest and do all those things. So we need to have more things in our life that are active recovery, so to speak, so that you can challenge yourself occasionally when you need to. So, and I, you know, I position myself, not everyone can do this. I position myself so my entire life is spent outside. You know, I literally, like all my work this morning is up here on my balcony. It's a beautiful breeze today. When the, when the wind is a little, a little heavier and the sun comes over here, I go in out my kitchen. My kitchen is an outdoor kitchen and it opens up. So I'm a natural light all day. So um, I've made choices in my life to make that a priority. And um, you have to decide what's a priority in your life, you know. And I've moved somewhere where my dollar goes a lot further. Um, so I'm able to live more comfortably with less stress and pressure, right? And then I'm building an outdoor gym here so that I have a place to train and I to build a help build a community here of like-minded people. The friends that I that are visiting me down here, they're checking out buying some places down here for their retirement. So, um, you know, you have a place to go where, you know, you can get dollar tacos that are that are farm to table. Uh, I posted some pictures on my Instagram of the far, the tacos, the dollar tacos down the street at the mini golf place. This lady, her house is basically her restaurant. She has a house and she has a palapa and a pool, and she serves tacos and quesadillas and. She literally picks for the like margaritas. She literally picks the limes off the tree herself and it's all fresh. All the food that's served at the restaurant is pretty much, I think 90% of it, her chickens, everything is grown at her place. You know, you'll see her going into the kitchen with a whole shirt full of limes. Um, absolutely incredible. You know, dollar tacos, just, you know, chicken or beef, phenomenal, phenomenal stuff. Uh, amazing burritos. So the, the food here is incredible. There's so many things to do here that that are so simple and so awesome that it's very easy to live an outdoor life here. And that's one of the reasons I moved here. I finally got my online store going, nikabarbell.com. You can go over there. There's a little video of me explaining what it's all about. We Oh, we went to a baseball game yesterday. 
from the baseball team that I sponsored, a baseball team in California. If you go to Nika Barbell, N-I-C-A Barbell on Instagram, you can see the picture of the jerseys I bought these guys. It's a lot of fun going there uh, and having their kids come up and thank you. Oh, my dad really likes his new jerseys. Thank you very much. The logo turned out really good on the sleeve. It's really fun that the players come up and thank me. So it's really neat that I'm able to do that. And it's it's so, so insignificant the amount of money that it is. You know, to most most Americans, it would be insignificant. But for here, it goes a long, long way. And that's why I'm excited to raise money for the gym you know, by selling T-shirts, mugs, training logs, things like that. Not only do I build a gym here, but I also help out in the community and help hire locals. And you can change people's lives, lives here for just a few dollars a day. Uh, it's pretty hard to do that in the U.S. So I'm excited about that. So thanks for joining in today. Find some things that you enjoy, cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, playing golf, pickleball, whatever it is, a nice, solid activity that gets you outside in the sun with friends um, and do that consistently, you know, and then add your training on top of that. And your training, you, you know, honestly, most of the people that I've worked with over the years, they lift weights two to three times a week, full body, and then they would be active. They they'd cross-country ski or they'd hike or they play tennis or something like that. And, and they, those are the people that did the best. They had the best outcomes. Be active every day, walk, do something several times a day, being active, and then challenge yourself a couple times a week in a reasonable way with a reasonable program, eat real food and get the lights off at night. And you're going to be better than 90% of the people out there. It's not that complicated. So have yourself a great day. Make sure you get outside today. Go over to Nika Barbell. Check it out. Go to my Instagram. You'll get to see some of the stuff I've been up to lately. You'll get to see like cows cruising down the street. Uh, that's one of the reasons I like riding my motorcycle here because you'd never know. It could be horses, cows, dogs on the street. So you got to have, you know, you're, you got to have uh, your your brain working at full, full capacity uh, when you're driving a motorcycle here or you're driving a car. You just never know what's going to be around that next corner. Uh, it's pretty cool. I really enjoy it. And, um, the view for the patio here is just awesome today. It's just so beautiful here. And, uh, even though it's the heat of summer, it's still very, very bearable. And, uh, we actually have rain in the forecast today. I don't know if we're going to get it or not, but, uh, it'll be interesting to see. So have yourself a great day. Make sure you take the time to get outside and we'll see you tomorrow. Get on the email list. Take care.